Hey, what's going on guys? So, let's have some fun with some cotton balls today. Had a couple people bring up some good ideas. And uh, so, William and Shannon, uh, this video is for you guys. We're going to do three things today with some cotton balls, guys. Uh, number one, we are going to um, do the whole Vaseline cotton ball, but we are also going to do an olive oil covered cotton ball. And we're going to kind of do a comparison between those two, see which one burns longer, uh, better, um, catches wet wood, uh, wet wood on fire easier, things like that. And then something that we're also going to do is we are going to char some cotton and we're going to see how easily we can get a spark take on that charred cotton and see if we can get a fire with that. So I'm going to come over here behind me and... I'm just going to split up a couple pieces of wood right quick and I'm going to throw them in this bucket of water behind me and let them soak up some wood while we're doing a few other things. So hang tight, let's get this done. Okay, so while those are going, I am going to go ahead and ignite this, and we'll set a little timer, see how long it burns for. This is the cotton ball with the Vaseline. And all I'm going to use, I'm just going to use the timer on my phone here. Set at zero. And start. Takes off very e very, very easy. Okay, timer's going. I'm gonna let this guy burn. Okay, there we go. Three minutes and eight seconds. I am going to reset it now. And we're going to try the olive oil covered one. First thing I notice is it does not take off as easy, but it's still going. All right, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I mean, you can see that this thing is still burning in the background, still going pretty strong, and we are at six minutes and 25 seconds. Okay, it has finally gone out, and we are at 11 minutes nine, or 10 seconds. So. That was a pretty good burn time, guys. It uh, definitely beat the Vaseline-covered cotton ball as far as burn time goes, but it did take um, quite a bit more lighter fluid to get that bad boy going. So now let's go ahead and see if uh, either one of these will take a spark from a ferro rod.
Alright. First up, Vaseline. Never really had too much use for these things just because they are uh, just messy. There you go. It definitely takes a spark for the Vaseline. I'm not going to do another burn time, so I'm just going to put this bad boy right in the water and call it good. Okay, now as hard as it was to light this with uh, a lighter, I'm going to bet that it does not take a spark, but let's go ahead and find out because there are a few spots on there where it did not quite get all the way saturated, so I'll try to hit those. Started to go, but then it went out. There you got it. As long as you don't completely 100% saturate those things and leave a little bit of a dry spot, you will be able to get that to go with a spark. Okay, as you can see, I have the olive oil covered cotton ball on the left and the Vaseline covered cotton ball on the right. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so you guys can see me pull the wet wood from the bucket. And let's see if this will, or if either one of these, will light wet wood. Again, the Vaseline covered one took right off, no problem at all. Hope you guys can see that dripping. Alright, let me get you guys a good point of view here. The Vaseline covered one is out. And that is really all that it did to the wet wood. Now I'm sure if I broke these down smaller and everything else and took my time then I'm sure I could get it going. But the point of this was I wanted to push it to see how well it did to medium sized wet wood pieces. Now. Moving over here to this one, you can see the slow burning olive oil one is still going. Okay, here we are a few minutes later and the olive oil cotton ball is starting to take off a little bit more 
and it does appear like it is actually getting the wet wood to burn. Alright guys, if you look in the background, you can still see that that wood is burning. That olive oil covered, or that olive oil saturated cotton ball is doing a pretty good job getting that wet wood going. So, the next thing I wanted to talk about was a charred cotton ball. Nice and fluffy. I thought they would be a little bit more um, thought they'd fall apart a lot easier than what they do. They actually do stay together relatively nice. Um, I've never tried this before with a cotton ball. I have tried it with a cotton round and I was unsuccessful. Uh, it just didn't hold an ember long enough to get my fire going. So let's see if one of these cotton balls will indeed get my little bundle of pine needles going. And I'm just going to use, you know, flint and steel method on this and let's see if we can get it going. They say that it takes a spark really easy. Like I said, I've never tried. This is my first attempt with this, so I wanted you guys to be a part of it. Two strikes. Got number one, a nice little arrowhead off my piece of tent, and I do got an ember. And again, ember's gone. No luck, guys. All right, so that was a fail with the charred cotton ball. Not saying that it's not possible because I'm sure if I took the time, gathered up some dry grass and everything, I could probably make it happen. But again, I wanted to press the envelope, uh, try to get it going with something that was a little bit larger, a uh, little less surface area, and see if I could get it to go. Uh, you've seen me do this. Uh, using dried pine needles with a regular piece of char cloth so it's possible um, I just didn't have any luck with it so I'm gonna give this a some more practice and we'll get back with you guys in the future hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, like I said in the past if you're gonna fail it's better to fail right here in your own backyard um, real quick why we're here, what's a video without a good tomahawk throw, right? Have a good one, guys.